Hi, welcome to the introduction to our new hard surface modeling tutorial. Now in this tutorial we'll be constructing the piece that you can see in front of you, which fans of Doctor Who may recognize as a Dalek assault claw. And I picked this piece specifically because it allows me to demonstrate a variety of different techniques. So we've got some poly modeling in here, we've got some curves, we've got some extrusions along curves, we've got some motion paths, we've even got some animation snapshots in here. So it's a wide variety of modeling techniques that we'll be using. It also is a small enough component that we could keep the time down to about two and a half hours. So really you know, this allowed us to create a tutorial that would demonstrate, you know, many different techniques in a short space of time, which will then allow you to extrapolate upon these techniques and construct, you know, a variety of different hard surface objects. What I've tried to do is go over especially some ways to create, you know, very rounded geometry like this with very hard edged chamfers on it. So opposed to a smooth geometry, which you'd normally see used on something like this, which has a much uh, curvier edge. We've tried to keep this, you know, very hard surface. Even components like this have that chamfered edge and they're not actually smooth. You can see the difference between the smooth one and one that was constructed originally as a hard surface piece. We've then, you know, done some uh, wavier components like these pipes, for instance, and we'll be showing you, as I said, all the techniques needed to complete this project in fairly short order. We'll also be covering a last part, as you've probably seen the renders on the site now. So I will take one part at the end of this tutorial to show you how to do these renders. And these are contour renders with mental ray. So this is kind of an ambient occlusion with a mental ray contour. Um, rendering on top of it. Now this is all done in one pass in Maya. It's pretty easy to do and it doesn't actually require lighting the scene. Now I think it's a nice way to show off your final model and it can be done you know in fairly short order. So we'll be covering the techniques to make this piece and also the techniques used to render it. Um, so I hope you join me for this one. Uh, one proviso I would mention, we will be using Maya 2015 and I will be using the modeling toolkit. So if you're using 2015 and you can't see the modeling toolkit, you may need to go up to your edit uh, mesh tools and tick show modeling toolkit. If you still can't see it, you may need to load it in as a plugin. It's included here with all versions of Maya 2015. If you are using an older version, you will still be able to follow along with this tutorial. You'll simply have to find the bevel and the um, insert edge loop tool on the relevant edit mesh and mesh menus. So you shouldn't have too many problems. All right, so thank you for watching this brief introduction, and I hope to see you during this tutorial. Thanks.